Alright everybody, welcome back to another video, and today on Earth Moving Machines, Models and Memories, we're going to be looking at one or two vintage Caterpillar brochures. Um, so anyway, last time we looked at the purchasing guide from the late 60s, early 70s, and today we're going to be looking at the power shift transmission, and if we get to it, 992. So anyway, uh... This would have been the earlier part of the 60s, I believe. Uh, the D9 here is a E model, D9E, so that would have been around in 59. So early 60s makes sense. Caterpillar power shift transmission. There's a look at some planetary gears used in the system, so let's diagram the engine. There's a planetary gear set that goes with a torque converter, transmission. It's for those of you more mechanically inclined people. So there's that, the power shift transmission. There's the form code. Yep, 1959. Back when the form codes actually mentioned what year uh, things were from. Newer ones, not so much. The 992 came out in 68, I believe. So this was the version of the 992 uh, that did not have rollover protection built in. The 992B that came out later had the pin-on rollover protection system. And from what I hear, the cab was the cab had the door on the back because they were concerned that the um, size of the loader and the way it rode would fling the operator out the side if the door had been where it's located on the normal loader, so take that for what you may. So that's the uh, same machine as on the cover. Same truck too. The V16 engine. Oh, we got one more page here. Just 
just look at the controls. Pretty basic. Bucket options. So this was a 10, 10 cubic yards. So I think this is Cat's first 10 yard machine. Might have been one of the first 10 yard loaders actually out there. Um, not 100% sure on that. Uh, Assuming that's 1969, and yeah, suppose we'll get to this one. Caterpillar engines, or industrial. It's the engine plant. I, don't, I actually don't remember where this plant was. Um, so these are uh, bigger than your average engine. These are meant for uh, Marine purposes or power trans, um, power not tra not power trans transmission, uh, power generation. So the, some of these are natural gas, some of these are diesel. So you can hook them together, have them end to end, all that stuff. Crankshaft. drive options for accessories. So this is talking about the natural gas fuel system. Don't have a whole lot to say here. Um, don't know a whole lot about these engines. Don't have a whole lot to do with them either. But the illustrations are nice, so it's always that. It's a gas engine, I think. Marine engines. Bunch of information. And just for the heck of it, since we were on the topic of engines anyway, go back to the engines page on the purchasing guide, give you a quick overview.
So anyway, that'll do it. Um, so next time, not really sure what we'll be looking at, but let me know in the comments section below if you've had any special requests, and I'll see what I can do. So I uh, do have a bit of Caterpillar stuff from the 80s as well, some 70s. Uh, the can upload the other parts to the Poclane binder. Uh, have a little, other couple of things in mind, but anyway, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching, and like I said, if you had anything you'd like to suggest, or if you liked the video, just let me know in comments. Thank you.